Hi, my name is Wilfred Ranke and otherwise known as the Oshawa Ogre and today we're going to do a nice German pancake with a sweet apple filling. Here's a list of our materials. Now the eggs and milk that we use, uh, I like to take it out 20 minutes before using it just to get it more to room temperature. And the apples I'm using are Granny Smith, three of those and one of them a red apple like a honey crisp or a Macintosh, just something that's good for baking and then we uh, slice off the cores and we make some nice bite-sized pieces of the apple now we take out a pan and we uh, put in uh, three quarters of a cup of light brown sugar and to that we're going to add some cornstarch uh, roughly about uh, one and a half tablespoons Now to this we're going to add uh, about half of a stick of melted butter and uh, this is what it looks like before and then I just melt it in the microwave. You could also do this in the pan before you add the brown sugar and everything else. And then we need half a cup of milk. We add it all together. We turn on our stove to about a medium heat and we start stirring making the sauce for the apple filling. Now this should take about five to ten minutes. Uh, you want to get it uh, up to a boil and you want to get it to start to thicken. And then you want to add the apple chunks to the pan and keep stirring and mixing the sauce in with it. And as you see, it's getting a beautiful color. And you want to cook this down to get the apple uh, uh, into a soft state. Now we're going to take our pans. Uh, I use a cast iron skillet and a, uh, a ceramic pie plate. And I put them in the oven um, at a 450 degree level. And you want to warm up the pans as well as the oven. It's very important, that step. And then in a separate bowl, we're going to mix together five eggs we're going to add one cup of milk and we're going to mix them together now we're going to add our flour, uh, one cup of flour and then ground cinnamon uh, that really goes well with apple anytime you have apple if you put cinnamon with it it's great uh, you can put anywhere from a quarter to uh, a full teaspoon of the uh, cinnamon and then a pinch of salt maybe about a quarter teaspoon a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix this together get it to a smooth consistency it doesn't have to be really smooth uh, you don't want to overdo it now we're going to get some more butter and we're going to cut into two pieces that are both uh, two tablespoons roughly uh, if you have a square chunk uh, that's what you're looking for and you take the pans out of the oven they're hot and you want to coat the pans on the sides and on the bottom with butter you want a lot of it don't be afraid to have extra butter and as you can see as soon as you put the butter in it starts to melt right in the pan once it's uh, spread around you add the batter uh, you want to split it between the two pans and uh, here we are we're ready to put these into the oven you're going to be cooking for 15 to 20 minutes um, probably about 10 to 12 minutes in the oven and then you're going to turn the pans inside the oven so that you get even heater all the way around and uh, when you uh, do the last five minutes uh, that's when you put your apple filling back on the stove again and reheat it uh, just to get it uh, warmed up again as you can see the pancakes rise a lot and every time you make them it's going to be a different shape don't be concerned it just adds to the uh, look of the pancake and uh, 
The kids really love to see these things come up in the oven. As you can see, we're looking for a nice golden brown color. And uh, we've sliced the lemon in half, and we're going to take them out of the oven now. As you can see, they're starting to get a little brown in the middle, but they're brown around the outside. That's what you want. And there's the one in the pie plate. And here we're just going to take the juice of a lemon, and uh, while it's still in the pan, uh, use the juice from half a lemon on both of the pans. You can hear the lemon juice sizzle uh, in the hot pan as well. Nice sound. And now we take our apple filling, uh, which is heated up again. And we're going to uh, split the apple filling between the two pancakes. Now you can uh, also do other fillings, or you can just leave these pancakes plain and use maple syrup on them, or uh, whatever you like. Uh, this is just the way that my family really loves it. And then after you put the filling in, you can spread it around to the edges. It might be easier as well to take the pancakes out of the pans and put on the serving plates before you add the apple filling. I didn't do it this time, but uh, most of the time that is what I do. But anyway, uh, just use a spatula and you can pull it out of the pan and put it onto a plate. Now these pancakes, uh, two of them sh should serve four people, uh, up to eight. You can cut it into four slices, but uh, most people will probably eat two slices. And now we're going to coat a little bit of icing sugar on the top just for looks and a little bit of extra sweetness. And here we have the finished product. cut it in pieces and serve it right away. Doesn't take long to do. It's an easy recipe and most people have all the ingredients in their house at the time anyway, nothing special about it. But a uh, really good taste and uh, everybody in my family loves it. And here I'm about to take a, uh, take a bite out of it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and look for more of my videos. Bye-bye.